How to manage reserved versus outgoing employees. We'll describe what reserved versus outgoing is and how that manifests in the workplace, the business impact, management considerations of this, and interviewing tips. Some people are described as too talkative or too outgoing. And this often comes up in the workplace if they're in a role where they have to do independent work or they're working with others who are more reserved. Sometimes that's the right fit for the job, but sometimes it's not. In the workplace, the level of outgoingness is determined, or the ideal level is determined by the job requirements of the, the position that the person's in. So if they're doing independent work and doing a lot of tasks by themselves during the day, it's more suitable that they would be on the reserved side. And if they're doing a lot of communicating and relationship building, and meeting new people, being outgoing would be preferred for that type of job. The business impact of this is huge. If you get this fit right, if you've got outgoing people in roles where they're primarily doing communication and relationship building, they'll be more engaged and they'll be more effective at their tasks. If you've got reserve people doing the independent work and doing the work that uh, they might be not doing as much collaboration, this is preferred. If you get those backwards and you've got outgoing people doing independent work and reserve people doing the communicating work, often those people can become distracted and disengaged and gravitate towards uh, tasks that are uh, different from what they should be doing day to day. When we're probing for fit, we want to make sure that the job requirements line up with the personality. So if someone is scoring high or towards the outgoing end, making sure that their tasks involve influencing others, communicating, building new relationships. If someone is more toward the reserved end, working independently, analyzing and doing work that doesn't necessarily involve other people. When we're interviewing, it's important that we use interview questions to get a sense of people's comfort level and preference for different social tasks. So if we want to ask what a person's ideal split between independent work versus communicating is, that will give us an idea of where they sit and what would be the appropriate job type for them or the appropriate tasks. Also seeing people's comfort level with meeting new people would be very helpful, especially if the job involves that. Outgoing people would naturally be comfortable with that, but reserve people might not. For more information on this dimension and others, visit talentclick.com slash WPP.